the fact that we have 20 episodes i just kept asking myself like why 20 episodes hey guys welcome to back with better studios my name is adeshawa today i'm going to review a netflix south african series which is blood legacy blood legacy starts with the mysterious mother of the ceo of spears industries and continues with the power struggle between his kids on who to be the ceo as all of them, all three of them, want to be the CEO. Starring Kosile Shabalala, Connie Chume, Boile Madladla, and others. Blood Legacy is a remake of Spanish crime thriller Monarca. And I haven't actually watched Monarca, so I do not um, know how to compare the both um, versions together. But in some comments online, I saw some people appreciating the fact that it's a remake. They like the series and some people did not really like like that it's a remake. Some people were like, why did they copy? Why did they copy? The same thing happened when I watched 2020 Spanish um, series Dark Desires and when I watched um, South African Fatal Attraction. I was like, why did they copy this Dark Desires? But later I learned it was a remake. But even when I watched um, Fatal Attraction, when I noticed it was so similar to Dark Desires, I just stopped watching it. I was not interested. And even when I learned it was a remake, I was not still interested. So I think I'm part of the people that don't really like remakes. Let me know in the comment section if you like um, remakes, if you're a fan of remakes. The same thing that um, happened also when I watched... Um, this movie this series good doctor the korea version when i watched it i liked it and when i knew that there was good doctor american version i was not just interested even though korea version was just season one i was not just interested in the american version so just let me know as i said in the comment section are you a fan of remix so back to blood legacy blood legacy the actors performed well they did a good amazing job from the supporting actors main actors background actors everybody did an amazing job sincerely Kasile, her character's name is kaisile adesino because i've been hearing um adesino it's adesino and yeah she carried this series so well she did an amazing job everyone actually did a good job with their performance my best characters i'll say is nido and tule yeah those are my best characters and grandma which is um connie chume may i so rest in peace i really liked her character also so yeah good performance from the actors in this series regarding the story the story is a good story but in my opinion i just wish that the story tilted more to crime thriller misery instead of family drama because at some point i actually forgot we were trying to look for this person's killer that person's killer so for me having it tilt more to crime thriller will actually give it more sauce make it more hotter and for us the audience there's just going to be something that we're trying to you know debate what's happening what's happening with this person what's happening here just being inquisitive and trying to you know crack our brains around what is happening instead of this family drama of what have you caused again what is the bad thing you're planning again so that's just my opinion but regardless this story is a good story now to the production of this series in case you do not know the production company is gambit production the same producers of blood and water and unseen and from those names you should know that we cannot just expect anything less in this series blood legacy they gave us an amazing production you know the cinematography the clean pictures the drone shots I love it. <laughs> Do you know why you like it? Like, Mwah! yeah, I really love everything about this production. The costume, it was just so amazing. And can we talk about how every woman in this um, series just had very good wigs, you know, the natural hair work, very good. The braids were good. And yeah, good job. And for me, I think Connie Chume's uh, wig grandma i really can't remember her character's name her wig is the best for me like all those weeks they were listening i was like where's the lace where's the lace so yeah they were all well lit and very good good job to the hairstylist 
for this series. Now to the part that made me raise an eyebrow in this series. The fact that we have 20 episodes. I just kept asking myself, like, why 20 episodes? To me, they were just a bit stretchy and... As I said, it's not like the episodes were like one hour or like um, 45 minutes. I think the least is like the highest duration is actually like 30, 35, 32 or thereabout. But 20 episodes. Like why? <laughs> really, why? For example, the um, scenes where Mandla was um, held captive by the Aces and... All those things they just you know maybe kept and torturing him was training this was training that i was like show necessary <laughs> but yeah it is what it is but for me 20 episodes is just too it's a bit too stretchy for me that's just it so if i am to rate this series it's going to be a 7.5 that is going to be my rate for this series this is my review for blood legacy if you really want to watch this series, not like if you really want to watch this series, yeah, that sounds somehow, but this series is available on Netflix, so head on and watch this series. As I said, it's a 20 episodes series, so be prepared <laughs> for time and data to watch these episodes. And don't forget to subscribe. Please kindly subscribe. It's just a click. Okay, my name is Adesha and I'm going to see you in my next review. Bye-bye.